Low testosterone levels in men lead to symptoms like low sex drive, lack of energy, fat gain and moodiness. And chances are that you're only half the man your granddad was. In fact, studies show that testosterone levels have been declining for decades. A 2007 study revealed a drop in testosterone levels in men living in the United States by about 1.2% each year starting in the 80s. And additionally, testosterone levels decline by 1-2% per year as we get older. This might all sound pretty scary, but in this video I want to show you 4 scientifically proven ways to boost your testosterone levels naturally. Normal testosterone levels in men range between 240 and 950 nanograms per deciliter. And even though your testosterone levels might not technically be too low, you might still derive some benefits from increasing your testosterone levels towards a higher end. So the first way to boost your testosterone levels is to lose some body fat, but not too much and not too quick. A study found that obese men have up to 50% less testosterone than lean people. However, overweight participants could increase their testosterone levels by losing some body fat. How much you need to lose depends on your starting body weight though. Researchers think that more body fat means more aromatase activity, which is an enzyme that is responsible for the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. But here's a caveat. Rapid weight loss can decrease testosterone levels. A study looked at wrestlers that were heavily calorie restricted. They mainly restricted their carbohydrates and fat intake while they kept the protein high. After about 3 weeks, they lost about 8% of the body weight, together with a shocking 63% drop in their testosterone levels. However, keep in mind that those wrestlers were not overweight to begin with. And we do know that a too low body fat percentage will lead to low testosterone. So what would be the ideal body fat percentage for optimal testosterone levels? Probably somewhere between 8 and 15% body fat. The next tip is to get enough sleep. A study published in 2011 first measured the testosterone concentration of healthy men who slept about 9 hours per night and then reduced the sleep duration to only 5 hours. They found that the testosterone concentration dropped by an average of 15% after just one week with only 5 hours sleep. Ok, the next two tips will be something you can work on immediately to get your levels where you want them. The first one is macronutrient composition, meaning how much protein, carbohydrates and fat you eat. The macronutrient composition seems to be extremely crucial for optimizing testosterone levels, especially how much fat you eat. A study found that when people switch from a diet that contains more than 30% of the calories from fat to a diet with less than 15% fat, the testosterone dropped by an average of 12%. Another study backs this up. When men switch from a low fat diet to a moderate fat diet, their testosterone levels increase by about 13%. The high fat diet also contained about 3 times more saturated fat than the low fat diet, which might have contributed to the increase. For the potential mechanism, cholesterol is a precursor molecule of testosterone which means that the body produces testosterone from cholesterol. Ok, so we need fat to optimize our testosterone levels. But some studies also indicate that we need carbohydrates. When a group of people was restricted in their carbohydrate intake to less than 30% of the calories, their free testosterone dropped significantly after 3 days. However, a very recent study from 2019 found that when professional basketball players were placed on a kind of ketogenic diet with less than 10% of calories coming from carbohydrates, their testosterone levels increased after 4 weeks on the diet. So probably the body simply needs time to adjust to the new low carb eating conditions. The last method to really boost your testosterone levels is to get an adequate intake of specific vitamins and minerals. I won't go into too much scientific detail here, but you can read it up on my blog if you like. Let's get the obvious ones out of the way first. Zinc is obviously important for testosterone production. A study found that 3 months of daily supplementation with zinc in men who were deficient almost doubled their testosterone levels. Vitamin D can also help you to boost your testosterone levels. A 12 month study found that supplementing with vitamin D increases the testosterone levels by 25%, which again is a lot. 
Okay, the next micronutrients are less well known for their function to boost testosterone levels, because the mainstream media hasn't noticed the research yet. Vitamin A is the first joker here. A study used vitamin A and iron supplementation to treat delayed puberty in boys and found it equally effective as direct testosterone supplementation. Another study compared the dietary intake of 155 pairs of male twins and found a strong correlation between testosterone levels and vitamin A intake. So I guess it's fair to say that vitamin A could be a secret weapon here to boost your testosterone levels. The next secret weapon here is vitamin K2. Tim Ferriss was able to triple his testosterone levels by fixing his vitamin and mineral intake and describes the function of vitamin K2 as an activator and found it necessary for his testosterone levels. I'm not sure how much biochemical insight he had when he wrote this, but he was pretty right. Vitamin K2 can activate the expression of certain genes and studies on animals show that vitamin K supplementation enhances testosterone production. The last vitamin you don't want to be deficient in is vitamin E. A study published in 1982 by a Japanese research group found that vitamin E supplementation increases the production of testosterone in animal and human subjects. That's it, to wrap it up one more time. Lose some weight and aim for being between 8 and 15% body fat. Get enough sleep. Include enough fat in your diet especially saturated fats. And make sure to get an adequate intake of those above mentioned vitamins and minerals. There are other ways to boost testosterone briefly, like weightlifting or being sexually aroused. Both methods will briefly spike your testosterone to a large degree, but only for a short time until it drops to its origin. You should also work on your stress management, as high cortisol can quickly reduce your testosterone. These hormones work in a seesaw-like manner, as one goes up, the other one comes down. I will leave a link to the studies in the description. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe. See you next time.